Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. Um, what are we doing? Yo, why is there a cloneling in here? Is there, what? Has that always been true? Pig farmer, Fly, lying on, what? What? Equipped woven tunic and cloneling disguise. Oh my God. Caves of Cud, am I right? Caves of Cud really do be huffing its own farts sometimes. <laughs> It, it'd be on something I it's on something I really I just do not recognize um, All right, so it occurs to me that I should have done I, I should have started this game in Jopa because there are actually a couple of reasons there, there are a couple of achievements associated with Jopa Unfortunately one of the being make enemies with them. So I will have to do that at some point um, also I should have gone to Red Rock, and there is in fact at least one achievement associated with um, falling a long way. So we can do that. I don't know if I want to, like, I, I have mixed feelings about, like, just throwing myself down a hole with there being zero consequences. I'm sure you have some feelings to that as well. That's a kind of um, that's a kind of achievement that is just going to happen eventually anyway. So, you know, I, I, in the spirit of things, I do want to, um, you know, humor the achievements for what they're worth. There's plenty of time to, you know, fall into a hole and die. I, I don't want to make that happen uh, by our own volition. So uh, we're going to we're going to go that back down here. There's not really much reason to do so. Um, and, you know, like this is this is a, a strange series in a way because like on one hand I do have a pointed objective but on the other hand I also have to fulfill my you know my needs as a uh for as a character like I, I need to upgrade or uh, level up my character enough to to be able to achieve basically the things that I need and want to achieve so that means that I'm gonna have to do things that are not really related to um any any achievement and that is good news for you because that means more caves of code content but anyway um <laughs> i don't know all of that to say we're going down here into this named ruin and we're gonna fight a bunch of stuff and that's what we do in cud you know we do fight a lot of stuff in cud all right um make sure my my hunter gets in there while we fight the null worm things are going pretty well um I think I have a pretty good set of things going on, and I have maybe a foothold in uh, in this in this game. Like it was kind of touch and go, and you know this is the thing is like I probably would have beaten the game. I, I would have beaten Caves of Cud in like you know classic mode by now, uh, if not for the fact that um, like stuff just kind of happens in the early game like you get impaled by a young ivory by the way and um then you bleed out for like two-thirds sorry almost to die you almost die excuse me from a young ivory like the early game is really touch and go and and it's it's merciless you know and as is cut like the the nature of cud cud is a very merciless world we're not going in there that's how i died last time um, so with that being said, and we have a cannibal, cannibal's fine. Um, you know, like, I, do, am I, am I a cautious or careful player? No, not at all. Not at all, really. Um, you know, I, I I'm familiar with the game. I, <laughs> after, after all of my time playing Cud, I'd say that my, my, a level of prowess when it comes to Caves of Cud is, I am familiar with the game. Uh, I am gonna die here, by the way. I'm gonna, yeah, that was actually a good play by me, if I do say so myself. Uh, Temporal Fugue, honestly, just to block, block the shots that were uh, about to murder me. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Is there more down there? I don't know, but we're gonna wait out our Temporal Fugue. Remember to wait out your cooldowns before you carry on, especially in this early game, they can really make the, d the difference between life and death. Uh, we have another salt thingy. Uh, I forget what they're called. Salt thingies. They're called salt thingies now. We have an artifact. Weird artifact to the east. We got a spider over here. Um, 
I don't really like this area at all. As soon as we get stuck, oof, okay, we're not going down there. As soon as we get stuck once, um, we're, we're gonna get just, just like a bunch of spiders descending down on us. Um, well, uh, I don't think I want to go into this thing, especially not right now. I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go save first. It says it's saving the game now, but I don't believe it. Um, I think it only saves when you leave a town. So I guess we have a, another playthrough in our future where I start in Jopa because I have to do a couple of those things and then probably we will um, die. I, I do want to make a flight character. Um, I think that the a flying character is the way to go if you want to try and beat a Deca Sludge. Um, Deca Sludge is no... It, it's, it's, a, it's a tough one. That is... Basically as tough as most, um, you know, enemies and, uh, so you, you need to have a, a, a big old advantage on that one. Ouch. That was probably my clone shooting me. Alright. That sounded promising. Oh, there's still one in here. My god. Alright, well, we'll wait for Temporal Fugue to come back off cooldown and then we'll head back in there. Um, you know, there's no, I don't think there's any way to accomplish every goal in one session. Can we, can we do this ourselves? Hey, there we go. Um, I don't think it's, you know, in one, pl one playthrough, it's, I don't think it's possible. We gained 10 XP from something. I'm not sure, but we gained, we, we leveled up. Can we throw some points onto Temporal Fugue? No. And, uh, all right, that's fine. Can we get something on Conk? No, not really. Uh, what? Oh yeah, slam. Slam is great, but I need more strength. We are very close to having enough strength. Um, I should also get cooking and gathering. The reason being is I am gonna have to like. Okay, this is one. This is a, an achievement that um you ought to get in Cud just by playing Cud. Um, so it's, it, it's like, I refer to them as endurance achievements because it's just like, you're, you're gonna get them eventually, just play the game, right? Um, but I refuse to do that because, um, <laughs> uh, honestly, I think that there are some achievements that I just don't touch on very often. Let's get, um, let's get some wilderness lore here. Salt dunes sounds pretty good and jungle sounds pretty good. Um... So the one I'm referring to is cooking. Um, you there's an achievement which is like uh, make uh, invent a hundred different recipes, which you know that's that's likely to happen if you play cut, and I am like on my way to doing that. But I just think that it would make sense to uh, quicken this process a little bit. Um, we are not inspired right now. I have a carbide chef. What does feed companions mean? Oh, I see. We can like give them food. That's interesting. So we can actually give them cooking effects. That's kind of cool. That means we could technically give our companions mutations. Uh, interesting. Um, let's just whip up a meal. So I've taken carbide chef and uh, the various things we need. Let's make miracles happen over here perfect um so we should be able to start working on that uh there's other like you know easy achievements that are like okay you know um, get uh make friends with a hundred people or like perform the water ritual with like a hundred different people that's something that will just like eventually happen um and i don't you know necessarily want to uh disturb the the um vibes of Caves of Cud by going out of my way to do some of those things. We're going to disturb Caves of Cud plenty by uh, doing a bunch of other stuff like, you know, uh, oh, I don't know, jumping downhill. I don't know. We're, we're not jumping down holes just yet. Don't worry about that one. But like there's there's plenty of stuff going on that we're doing for the sake of achievements. And I think there's, al there's already like I, I'm hesitant about the whole thing because it's kind of tacky. Like, I understand that. Um, someone is going to watch this and they're like, oh, this is kind of, this is a tacky way to play. Cud. Who cares about achievements? I genuinely think that the, 
This is actually a pretty good item to find. Uh, I genuinely think that the achievements in Caves of Cud are really good and they deserve to be, uh, you know, like, acknowledged. Um, some of them are, are actually, like, you really kind of have to go out of your way. And then some of them are, you know, very much, like, very mundane, kind of, you, you're bound to, it's bound to happen. So which ones am I, am I humoring? Well, I gotta have to pick and choose my battles, right? So this playthrough is all about trying to get as many clones of myself as possible. Hence the high ego, hence the temporal fugue, hence, uh, you know, all of those things. So that's what we're doing this uh, game. The next game we'll probably do a Jopa session and we'll probably take wings so I can prepare for, um, you know, attacking a Deca Sludge. Deca Sludge, it's just like, it's fighting sludges in general just sucks. Like, straight up. I, I hate fighting decas like or sludges in general. They, they just like are the worst, and I go to many lengths to avoid having to. Um, so you know, um, the first if we wanted to fight a deca sludge, and I, I tried to do it on stream. I got very close. I got to a nine. I forget what they're called, nano sludge. That seems like sounds like it would be ten, but no, that's it's. I think it's nano sludge. Uh, I got to nine, and then I. Uh, it just like kind of gave up but um yeah it's it's tough it's really tough because like you're you're basically consigning an entire tile like a a world tile to doom like it it, it, it it's complete chaos um all right we oof all right let's back up a bit and we'll temporal fugue Please leave me alone. I am almost dead. Let us um, heal. Okay, we're, we're a little confused. That's fine. We're just a little confused. Do we have ammo? We do have ammo. How much ammo do we have? Not a lot, but enough. Okay, our temporal fugue. Did we get to as much out of it as we could? I don't know. I kind of want to save our friend here because they're not doing well. And, you know, the scavenger is, uh, they're, they're doing work for us. They're actually, they're, they're some of the best friends you can have, these, these, um, snapjaw hunters. Sorry, warlord. Warlords. They're, um, they're, they're tough fellows and, uh, they can crit pretty high. Um, so, you know, I don't, I don't want to just, like, treat them disposably. Oh, God, we have a turret. We managed to deal with it before it shot us. It's our first turret this playthrough. I wish there was, like, a page somewhere. I'm sure there is. I'm, per I'm sure it's part of, like, the, the logbook or something that was, like, you know, our our kill list like how many things have we killed what's the most interesting thing we've killed uh what is the you know the thing with the highest reputation um stuff like that what is that oh that's a legendary sal salamander oh that's weird they're like green um loved by the cult of the briny air of frogs um that's that's a named location i don't have to worry about that hated by oozes disliked by the villagers of shirvamu all right well we're, we're going to, you know, we could proselytize them. We uh, we have proselytized them. We'll just uh, see what they're worth. Have them fight our warlord. If they kill our warlord, then they're a worthy companion. If they don't, then we'll re-proselytize the warlord. There we go. Best way to... Uh, Okay, that was our friend that died there. Or, sorry, that, that uh, killed. Um, the best way to test if your new companion is fit to be, um, you know, part of your team is if they can kill your old companion. Worldly toy of Ikesh, Tinker Home. Uh, fabricates one worker ant, cognitively altered to like you. Uh, these boxes never really do it for me. I am not a huge fan of those boxes. Dried law petals, that's something. Definitely that is something. Are we... 
our axolotl is maybe a little bit slow. Not sure, but they they are hitting pretty hard and consistently. I think consistently is the uh, m more important of the two things. Hard is good, but like doing consistent damage is better than doing high damage sometimes. All right, so that's this named location defeated. Um, sometimes you have a good day with Cud and sometimes you do not. Can't figure out how to safely reach the staircase. Why? Oh. Okay. Um, there you go. <laughs> that was, that's weird. All right, let's, let's leave. We, we have a friend with us. Actually, if we have, a, we, we could become, well, they don't have reputation I actually care for at all. The only thing in there is oozes. Um, like, they're, they're <laughs> The only, the, the only reputation we would get would be loved by the cult of the briny air frogs, which we just, like, dismantled. Um, so I'm, uh, what, I'm whatever about it. Um, but, yeah, I guess if, if this uh, playthrough gets to the end of the game, and there are achievements associated with beating the game, I would like to beat the game with each of these uh, characters. But um, if we do, then we know we'll have to be fighting uh, Batel. No, sorry, not Batel. Uh, cherub frogs. Cherubs, they spook me a little bit, but I, I have, I've, I feel like this is going to be a good run. I've already died a, f a couple of times. You'll have to forgive me. I'm trying my best. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Like, I figured that people, on average, are going to be more happy that I'm doing cud content than that I'm doing roleplay cud content. I'd like to think that's true, and I do want to just like not care uh, what you know necessarily what people think if they are like not on the same page as me. Like that sounds mean, but really it's just like I have to do what I'm going to enjoy, and you know at a certain point uh, there is room and space for me trying to and you know enjoying playing on classic mode, but there's also um, you know. <laughs> I'd like to also make space for me not taking the game so seriously that every single move is life and death. So, uh, hence the decision, you know, to play in roleplay mode. You know, I think that uh, it's important to remember that classic mode is not the only way to enjoy CUD. They're all valid. It's 100% valid to play and enjoy CUD. Uh, in classic mode, in roleplay mode, and one day I would like to play it in wander mode. I'd like to do a wander series. Uh, maybe that would be a good candidate for my my dream series where I play the game without ever accessing the overworld map. That sounds that sounds like it could be fun. Um, like true vagabond playthrough. Uh, there's there's room for all types of cud play and. Um, you know, I've done I've done quite a lot of classic play, and I've had my fair share of dying in stupid ways because I'm not necessarily the best or most methodical player. And uh, you know, eventually it gets old. It does get old. But it, besides getting old, like I'll, I'll eventually be up for that again. Oh, they're dead. Electrofuge. No. Well, Electrofuge, you have proven to me that you can be my companion. So would you join me? No. All right. Well, okay. If you're going to be like that, I guess I'll have to shoot you to death and then kill you. Shoot. Oh, well. Um, like, I will eventually be up for uh, playing those, like, ridiculous life and death situations again. Um, but also, like, because, um, you know, death is such a high toll... In classic mode, I tend to basically take zero to no risks, and that means that I'm not really playing CUD to the best. I'm not like, what what does it mean to play CUD? Does it mean to play it well to win, um, or does it mean to do things that are very deranged and strange and, uh, you know, just like not tethered with any known reality? I would argue that CUD is best played when you're doing something that just has no connection with reality. It is truly bizarre, 
uh, untethered. It is unhinged, you know, and, and that's what Cud is. It's an unhinged game. Um, trying to make sense out of, like, absolute, uh, just a, a foliage, uh, 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 like, um, you know, a jungle of nonsense. And, oh, remains, shoot, I had, my, I had a chance there. Um, so, you know, to, to play cut, to get the most out of it, is to really en embrace that unhingedness. That's why so many people love to make mutants in, in cut, I think. Because you, you can roleplay a certain level of just bonkers derangedness that you don't really get from a lot of other games. Like, you know, um... I just, you know, people, like, we don't want our games to make sense. Making sense is is played out. We want our games to be weird and, and like, truly otherworldly. Um, and you can definitely count on CUD to be that. So I would, you know, I, I would argue that um, I have been not been playing CUD very well. Not because I've been dying, but because I've been... Uh, playing safely and you know by a strict diet of rules and restrictions and boundaries and borders and oh I can't I have to go to Ezra right away so I can uh, make sure I get my technology because I, I need my technology no s screw that we're gonna be throwing rocks we're gonna be throwing boulders at trolls and see what happens we're gonna be polymorphing uh, stones into giants and and then whipping them at witches and seeing the results. This is science, but also magic, but also science. And that's uh, that's going to be that's going to be interesting. And uh, that's kind of what I why I really like the achievements. Is there an opportunity to embrace the deranged? So, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> You know, there's something to be said about being safe as well. <laughs> Hold on a second. I must I must partake of my beverage. Sorry if um, there were some gross and mouth, uh, mouth sounds there. That uh, that that boring into my brain by a sightless way really really gets someone a a powerful thirst. <laughs> Okay, let's do a nice old Intimidate. And then let's go ahead and uh, Temporal Fugue. And, uh, well, I'd love to leave right now, but I'm not gonna. Just gonna hold out a little bit. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. mm -mm. Do we have which would bark? We do, and I'm pretty sure the stairs are one or uh, two down and one left. Yeah, there we go. Hey, sometimes I can be methodical. You know, when uh, when the time calls for it. I mean, really methodical would have been making dang sure that <laughs> the staircase was exactly where I expected it to be. We need a new companion. It'd be nice if we could uh, get a robot companion. Can we proselytize a... No, I'm convinced. I don't know if you can proselytize a robot. Can I get a confirmation in, in the comments about that? Oh, uh, you were drying out. I ran out of water. Damn it. Oh no, a bear! Bear! Alright, I have to leave. Um... Man. Being an amphibian kind of sucks. There are hostiles nearby? No, there are not. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. There are no hostiles nearby. Uh, we're pretty far away from everything. Not sure we're desiccated. Damn it. Man, being an amphibian really sucks. Whoever told me that the amphibian flaw was an easy one, you're just wrong. <laughs> Like, look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. I probably should have just kept going to Gritgate. Uh, we could drink some cider.
and wine. Wait, do we have to like put it on our? We have to like pour it out, right? Uh, pour on yourself two drams. What? It's still desiccated. Okay. All right. Well, we are gonna die. There's no uh, stopping this now. Uh, I figured that the wine would. I, I yeah, okay. Listen, someone's gonna be in my comments saying, "Well, you know that." Um, <laughs> The alcohol actually dehydrates you. Yeah, that's true. But also, like, well, I, I guess besides hard liquors, you can drink a percentage of, like, beer or alcohol without, um, you know, it, it will hydrate you. Like, it's a percentage, right? You could drink beer. I guess wine would be a little bit different, depending on how high percentage it is. I feel like uh, the shale rock has been given an upgrade. It looks a little bit different now. So, I know this is my fault. I should have checked how much water I had before I go, before I leave. And that's going to be a habit I keep now. Um, hopefully. Yeah, it died. Sucks. Um, but, eh... I, okay, I, all right. I only had 12 drams. Never mind. All right. Someone... They did, the person who's going to tell me that the amphibian trade is actually totally fine... Yeah, you're correct. It's fine. I just... I shouldn't have left with, with 12 drams on my person. But also, I would say that I would not have 12 drams if it wasn't so expensive to be uh, an amphibian. Like, um, I definitely am using way more... Like, I, I'm using up more water than I normally would. I'm not used to that. So, uh, forgive me for that. Um, I'm gonna need some time to calibrate. Um, let's get rid of some stuff. Not our books. I wonder if I have to rebuy some of the uh, skills I bought. Let's get rid of all of that. We're keeping the cybernetics. Uh, we'll keep the musk. No, we'll sell the musket. No, we'll keep it because no, 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 we'll sell it. Sorry, <laughs> it's 25 pounds. I have to remember it's actually really, really heavy. Um, look at all these weird. Oh, okay, we've actually got we've got our first chem cell. Uh, I want to keep these folding metal chairs because they are good for uh, disassembling. Um, we're not there yet, and honestly, I don't know if this is a technology run. So let me just um, make sure we have, we took wayfaring and we, okay, we're good, we're good. Um, we could go to the stilt, but I think I'm just going to go back to, oh my god, I killed a lot of those worms. See, like, you know, despite the fact that um, roleplay mode removes some of the threat, it does not remove all of the threat of cud. I, I, I like, 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 dislike some of these new sound effects. I don't know what to make of them, honestly. They're a little bit strange. I'm gonna try and proselytize this electrofuge. Hey, we did it. Um, what is this? Furs. Steel war, ooh, steel war hammer. This is a two-handed thing, right? No. It's just good. Uh, well, we have a steel mace. This does 2d2. Our current one also does 2d2. Okay, so it's, it's not better at all. But that being said, that would, it would make good... Uh, would make good. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm, 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 I speak good, very good language, yes. Um, so do a temporal fugue. Hopefully we'll, we will not die. Hey, um, buddies, can you, can you deal with this fellow? Oh, we're not enemies to this electrofuge? Color me surprised. Oh, wait a minute. I'm an idiot. I just proselytized that electrofuge. Listen, I, you know, I have a kind of a gut instinct about things, and one of those things would happen to be 
um, you know, f enemies. So, we have multiple arms. What am I doing not taking that war? Yeah, okay. So we should be holding a uh, glow sphere in one of our arms and then uh, holding a steel war hammer in uh, one of our other arms. Um, eventually, I would like to um, put some points into multiple arms, but I'm going to be focusing on uh, temporal fugue. What is what is going on there? I saw some infighting amongst the uh, the the mirthworms. Can't cook. We have hostiles. Okay. Mirthworms are, um, you know, they're a mixed bag. They're on one hand they are tough um, in numbers, like they they have a ridiculous amount of numbers, and they eventually just kind of erode your health down. Probably my electrofuge is like not okay, um, but also uh, they are actually pretty good XP. Seventy XP at this point, like that's that's decent. So every every kill, and they do come in numbers, uh, gets you quite uh, quite a bit of XP. Oh look at that room full of mirthworms, and like although they can wear you down, um, they they also build you up a bit. So, Mirthworms are, 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 are a pretty good grind. I'm pretty sure they do actually, like, multiply, given enough time. Okay, we're, we're well sated. We have water this time. We have a companion. Things are better. Oof. This is, this is a, a room. Let's go ahead and intimidate... And then a temporal fugue. Oh god, I was kind of hoping that I could sort of stay out of the way. I probably should not have left the staircase. But the problem is if I go upstairs, then I'm basically wasting my temporal fugue. So, uh, you know, that's hence why I left the, the staircase. This is a different um, generation now. I, I did mention this, in, I think, in the last episode, but uh, though the, it uses the same seed, you do get a different flavor of the same generation. Oh, we're fighting a temporal feud. Sorry, an uh, uh, electrofuge. All right, we're, we're doing okay. Our, our gun actually does a bit more for us than I thought. Ooh, all right, I'll take that. I don't know why our Electrofuge decided to um, fight a robot or a wage droid. Someone's going to tell me also that it's Electrofuge. Oh no, our Fugue died. And maybe that's true. But, I don't know. I, you know, language is such a weird thing. It doesn't matter to me, really. It can be Electrofuge if you want. I, guess, I will admit that the soft G all, does sound better. This is why I, I'm so obstinate about it being a uh, GIF instead of GIF. Is, one might be objectively correct or not. Uh, GIF just sounds nicer. It's just a nicer way of saying it. I don't know. I just, like, I bet you didn't expect that <laughs> out of nowhere in your Caves of Cud a run. But for real, it, it kind of, I don't know, it bothers me. Why would, it's like, okay, GIF might be correct. But why would you want to say that? Why would you want to say... I don't like saying GIF. Besides, there's already a GIF. There's, there's peanut butter. We've already got GIF peanut butter. Why do we also need GIF the, the image format? To get rid of it. W one GIF is only necessary. Okay. I'm glad I solved that for you. Oh, no! <laughs> Please. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, that means we're going to have to fight the Mirthworms again. Man, the, the, the road to, the, to Great Gate just sucks. Sometimes it's just, like, actually the worst. Ugh. 
hate it. All right, we're going to the stilt. I'm gonna level up a few times. I'm gonna give the books away and hand in. I think we have a couple of uh, Reshef lore, but like, I I'm just tired. <laughs> the, the road to Gritgate is uh, actively wearing down my will to live. Yo, we have a chrome pyramid in the stilt today, actually. That seems unreasonable. Uh, I was gonna end the episode when we got to Great Gate, but uh, the Caves of Cud had other plans for us. So instead, I'm going to end it here in the Six Day Stilt after having given our Reshef lore. Oh, that's nice. We can, we can, oh, tab select all of it. There we go. That's nice. I'm pretty sure that means one of my, my mods is now redundant. What's our uh, reputation? Hated by cannibals. Loved. Okay. Uh, one of the... Honestly, I rarely make friends with Zezapur. Um, they tend to have not great reputation. There's a six day... Uh, sorry, a, a <laughs> six day... There's a chrome pyramid here that is just like making... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. I know first aid now. I wanted to share some secrets. Didn't mean to... to do that okay 1000 xp and let's go hand in our books we have an albino ape as our shiba and we gave him all the books oh look at that yeah one of my mods is now redundant and it doesn't flash anymore oh that's really nice excellent really appreciate that 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 is a much needed and much wanted update and just give all of your books to um shiba and it doesn't flash and it doesn't you don't have to go through every single one we have a uh, slinth here i do have to do the slinth quest that is uh, an achievement as well that i need to to do so where is the hydropon i will visit live and drink um who are you what are slinth uh, sorry if I'm not going through the I and mean, being very un, um, oh, we have a jeweler? Uh, you know, un, uh, what's the word? I don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not being very sensitive to the quest. I have taken that quest a few times before and not really gotten that far with it because it's, uh, I actually don't know what to do yet with that quest with that specific one we are gonna buy a a rough agate gemstone no smooth smooth agate yeah copper chromling figurine don't fall for that trap do not buy figurines i kind of wish there was like a crafting skill in cud not tinkering. That's not what I mean. I mean, I wish you, if you could, like, if you had some gemstones, you could, like, spend time trying to make them into a figurine and it would increase their value. I know that's a, probably a totally pointless skill, but it would be kind of nice. It would be fun. Nice little mod. Uh, let's get our, um, Bela quest. We'll go to Bela. And uh, let's see what kind of disliked by worms, loved by pariahs. Yeah, sure. I have a secret for you. Roast jam on top of stripped casserole. I have another secret for you. Location of Dazun Nip. There you go. We are very chummy with pariahs now. All right, that's gonna do it for this episode. Ran long. Uh, you know, I like to keep these around 30 minutes, so uh, you got an extra long one. I hope you are enjoying the series. Uh, we haven't really accomplished any goals yet, but that's okay. We're, we're working towards them. Um, if you did enjoy this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.